Here, we're using an open duct as a capturing hood, and the smoke shows that the airflow contours extend around the back of the hood. With the source at the front of the hood, such airflow is wasted. It has no effect on control. However, by using a flange on the capture hood, this wasted air can be minimized. For this demonstration, the open duct is being fitted with a yellow wire loop to show the size of its capture zone for this smoke source. The shape and size of the zone would be different for a more energetic source. It's important to note that when determining the capture zone for the hood, the process must be running. The capture zone is the space in front of the hood where the air velocity is sufficient to capture the contaminant cloud. One way to envisage it is as a bubble in front of the hood. Inside the capture zone, almost all the contaminant will be captured. Outside the zone, almost all the contaminant will escape. A flange restricts the movement of air from behind a hood, changing the shape and extending the capture zone in front of the hood. It reduces turbulence in the airflow into the hood, which improves the effectiveness. The shape of the flange is also a factor. A flared inlet is even more effective. However, even with these improvements, the capture hood is still prone to drafts. This bubble is easy to disrupt. It can shrink and change shape. Drafts can seriously affect the size and shape of the capture zones, and powerful drafts virtually destroy them. Capture hoods come in all shapes and sizes to suit the various work tasks. Each hood has a different shaped capture bubble, therefore it's important to choose the correct hood for the task. 